Learning to cue. What will I learn? When you start learning to cue, one of the first things you discover is that when we speak, we're only ever using 44 individual little sounds to create every single word in the entire vocabulary of the English language. How do we represent the speech sounds with cueing? The speech sounds fall into two groups, consonant sounds, which we show by using these eight handshapes, and vowel sounds, which we show by using these four positions around the face. Cued speech uses these eight handshapes and the four positions in combination with the natural lip patterns that we use when we speak to make every sound within every word visible as we say them. Consonant sounds are often at the start and the end of words. For example, k and t are the consonant sounds in the word cat. Vowel sounds give us syllables. For example, a is the vowel sound in cat and o is the vowel sound in cot. We can fit the whole cued speech system showing all the sounds on one chart. You can download it from our website if you don't already have one. Is it important for the people watching you cue to be able to hear the speech sounds at all? This perfectly complements any hearing that somebody may also be able to use. But because cueing makes your speech entirely accessible through vision, hearing just isn't necessary. Only three rules to learn. Rule one. There are only three simple rules to learn with cueing. And the first one is that if you want to cue a consonant sound on its own, then you simply take the hand shape that represents that sound. For example, B, which uses this hand shape, and you place it in what we call the side position. And to find your side position, you simply touch the tip of your longest finger in the corner of your mouth and then move your hand away to the side. It should still be level with your mouth. The idea is that whoever is cue reading you can look at the hand shape, your lip pattern and your facial expression all at once. And then you simply say the sound. B. Rule two. Rule two is if you want to cue a vowel sound on its own, then you need to indicate the position somehow. And we do this by using what we call the number five handshape, which is this one, using all five fingers. And you simply put it in the position where the vowel is. It looks like this. E, E, I, R. Rule three. Rule three is where the magic happens because sounds on their own don't mean anything. But if you can put two sounds together, you can start to create words. And of course, it's words that convey meaning. Our natural speech pattern blends consonants and vowels together. And to show this combination with cueing, you simply take the hand shape of the consonant sound, like B, Find the position of the vowel sound, like E at the mouth, and then put the two together. It looks like this. B. That is all you need. With those three simple rules, you really can cue any word in the English language. Because if you can cue a consonant on its own, B, you can cue a vowel on its own, E, and if you can put the two together, B, then that really is all we're ever doing when we speak. Why not have a go with these words, C and me? C. 
see. Me. What about remembering the sounds? Remembering the sounds. Please don't worry about this. Everyone does it in their own way, at their own pace. And if you have to carry the chart around for a long time, that's fine. The best thing that anyone can do to help themselves embed the system in their memory and in their lives is just cue. Cue to yourself, cue into a mirror, cue to the dog, teach someone else to cue. But please don't wait until you think you're good enough. Please don't even wait until someone's watching you. At the end of the day, we're doing this to serve the people in our lives that need to lip read us. And the sooner you cue, the sooner they can benefit. Happy queuing!